Hey everyone, it's currently 12 o'clock at night in the UK time and I was just watching some Jersey Shore and I just had my face mask and I was really bored and I had this sample of this foundation um, and I thought I would try it, it's a Bobbi Brown one, don't worry I'm going to get into the video in a minute. Um, it's this Bobbi Brown one and I got it when I picked up my corrector from Selfridges and it's the skin foundation. And I've still got some in there, but oh my god, this is amazing. And um, I didn't want sort of like the makeup to go to waste, so I thought I would do a video because I was going to film it tomorrow anyway. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd do a video and I'll just like talk you through what I've got on my face just to make it a little more interesting. Um, so yeah, face wise, I've got that on, and that's in shade natural by the way, and it's actually pretty good. Like match me and it's really similar to Nars Shiglo and I've just actually just ordered Nars Shiglo because they had like 25% off for students um, so I thought I'd get it then and I did tell um, Emma, I was talking to Emma about it, this blog, I'll link her blog down below and I said I'm not going to because I should use up my foundations first and she was like yeah yeah it's a good idea so yeah I've just ordered it so yeah if you're watching this Emma I ended up ordering it bad I know um but yeah it's quite similar to that so I'm not too gutted it's like really lovely sort of glowy finish it's like very light but pigmented but um yeah I really really like that um face wise other like my cheeks and stuff um I've got this like little thing from Benefit and I've just like used Tula to contour and like bronze a bit and I really really like that actually and then I've just used some Bella Bamba which I believe is that one you're not going to be able to see because I have like this bright light on. And, um, and then eyes. I didn't want to put like loads of eyeliner on, but um, I just have to have some definition on my eyes, otherwise, I feel like a mole. I know it sounds really weird, but I feel like really sort of like moly, if you know what I mean. Um, I just used some of the like darker shade just for some like definition in the corner. And lips wise, oh my god, I'm so happy I got this lipstick. Um, I know this blogger Charlotte. Um, hi Charlotte, if you're watching. And I actually tweeted about wanting the Flamingo lipstick by MAC. And I missed out on it, unfortunately. And it was in their, one of their latest collections. I can't remember what one. And, and it's a lust finish. And it looks like this. And I'm wearing it on my lips now. And it is so gorgeous. It's just like a gorgeous like coral well, I don't know it's like it's like a neon pink I just absolutely love it so yeah um and I'll link her blog below if you want to like go and check her out so um okay yeah so this video is just going to be sort of like my wardrobe staples that I will have throughout any season no matter what trends there are I will be wearing like these clothes um just uh, how many bits have we got here? One, two, I think there's like six bits here. Um, so yeah, I'll just get started and I hope you enjoy this video. Um, first one, it's inside out, sorry. And it's just a sheer shirt from H&M. And I don't mean just white ones in general, I mean just sort of like all different colours. Um, this is just kind of an example, just because you can wear them dressed up, you can wear them dressed down, you can wear them under jumpers, you can wear them on their own with jeans and like heels and they look really, really nice. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say. And the ones from H&M are pretty cheap actually, they're only about £10. And what the hell is up with my hair today? Quite a few people told me off in my last video to play with my hair a lot. So yeah, sorry if it annoys you like the others. But yeah sheer shirts I just love 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 them they just look really lovely and kind of classy in a way I just really really like them and enjoy wearing them um I don't actually feel completely comfortable going out with like a bra underneath so I tend to just wear like a bandeau if that's what you call them or like just like a little strapless like top or something um but yeah next thing is just a black jumper just because you can't really go wrong and I'm a bit of a goth and love wearing dark clothes. That's like what I'm guilty of, just wearing black like all the time. Um, but yeah, this one is from Topshop 
and it's kind of like the fisherman knit one and I just love these with anything, with skirts, with dresses, with jeans, anything. And yeah, they're just a staple that I always feel like I need to have in my wardrobe, if you know what I mean. Love that. Um, what else? Oh, I'll talk about one. And one is just white t-shirt and I'm wearing it now. I just thought I'd put it on. Um, and this one is from American Apparel. And it's one of the, I think they're the baby rib ones and they cost £10. And... I just really like these because they're a really nice kind of fit and I'm a size small in here for reference in case anyone asks. I just love to like the cut of the sleeves and the neck and they're just for really good quality and I know you're probably thinking like why don't you just go to like Primark or whatever but I do think that these are better because they're shaped um, better and I just feel like they're better quality and I just like love how they look. And these just thrown on with like jeans and bands or even like disco pants. Um, you can even sort of like dress it up on a night out with some like nice jewellery and stuff like that. So I really just love white t-shirts and they're really good for like layering as well. And yeah, I just really, really, really love them because I am quite... Because I wear kind of plain clothes and when I wear a plain t-shirt I like it to be a really nice cut. And I just find with the American apparel ones or apparel... I say it really weird, like sometimes I say apparel one way and then sometimes I say apparel. Yeah, that's the word. Um, yeah, um, I just think they're really, really nice, and because I do wear plain clothes, I like it to be a nice cut, and I've just said that, haven't I? But yeah, end of story, I like plain t-shirts. Um, next is black jeans, just because, again, I'm a bit boring, and I love black jeans. I just love them. And these particularly are the Lee ones from Topshop, and I actually need to get some off ones, because these are faded so, so much. You're probably going to be able to see. look how skanky they look. <laughs> And I'm a size 28 waist and I prefer to get 28 leg to fit me sort of perfectly like at the ankle like below the ankle but um, these are 32 and they look okay like a bit wrinkled up just love them for day and night again one with boots one with heels like one with flats with vans anything I just love them um, next thing is a check shirt and I will always, always, always love check shirts and especially like flannel ones. Um, I've probably only about three, a green one, this one and like a red one from Urban Outfitters. And I just love these and I've been wearing them for like years now and I just love the kind of style. Yeah, I just really, really like them. I don't care if they're not trendy or whatever. I love them and you can either wear them sort of like undone um, with like a vest underneath or you can have it all the way done up to have that kind of um, like trendy kind of look that everyone seems to be going for recently and I've been wearing sometimes and also just sort of like buttoned down a bit so you have a couple free at the top so either way it looks really nice and you can either kind of make it look a bit geek chic or you can make it look really casual but sort of so it looks like you've put in like a little bit of an effort but not too much it looks kind of like effortless but I really, really like them. Next one is just a slouchy jumper. And I love, love, love slouchy jumpers. Just throwing them on with jeans and boots and you're like pretty much good to go. And um, this one's from American Apparel once again. And I'm not sure if it's one of their reverse ones. I'm not sure. But this one has like a orange and navy speckle kind of detailing and it's kind of like bat wingy not bat wingy but it's like slouchy if you know what I mean shorter at the front and longer at the back and I just love this I love I just love like slouchy things like even like slouchy plain white t-shirts I really like as well and this cost I think it was 67 dollars um and I think they're about 50 pounds in sort of like the UK American apparels apparel whatever um so yeah, love that. That's definitely like a staple. And these are just all pieces like even if it's not kind of like this speckly print, I will always have that kind of like shape of something in my wardrobe. And next thing is of course vintage Levi's and these are actually like a little bit big for me now so I need to get some new ones. And I've got these from eBay and unfortunately I don't have the seller still. I'm going to actually try and look for it and see if I can put it in there because 
loads of people, people have asked me and I've looked so and I can't see it on there but I'm going to go through sort of like old messages or like invoices see if I can find it um, and they just have like the studs on the back and I like the studs because they add like a little something and I just think with vintage stuff you can't really go wrong and these Levi's is just such good quality and I love it I love like the rips um, detailing and once again you can wear this like dressed down or dressed up this is kind of like one of my go-to pieces all of these are like my go-to pieces basically like if I don't know what to wear then I will just like put these on and these again with slouchy tops or just like plain white t-shirts um, or in a night out with a blouse of like black tights and heels and I just love them and I love high-waisted things like anything high-waisted I'm on it I love it, love it, love it. And another, like, this is more, um, sort of like an accessory, I guess. But the belt is one that I got from eBay. And it's from a guy called Camden Beltman. Like, Camden, the place in London. If you just type that in, or one word, Camden Beltman into Google, then it will come up. And this cost me probably about £7. And it's real leather, really good quality. And it's just a lovely black belt with gold buckle. And I wear, like, I'm not the type of person to have loads of different belts, loads of different bags and shoes and stuff like that. I kind of just stick with the same sort of shoes, bags and belts, and then just sort of, like, change up my clothes. I'm not massively into accessories, and, um, yeah, I'd rather sort of spend my money on different things. So I wear this pretty much of anything, everything, basically. Um, yeah, and I love it. It just adds sort of, like, a little something to an outfit. Shoe-wise are boots whether that be, what's that, yeah, whether that be like my Chelsea boots or, where are my leg grips? Don't know where the, don't know where the other one is, or my leg boots, and I've worn these to death actually, they're looking a bit um, knackered, but yeah, I just love these, and I've actually helped to stop myself from wearing these for a while, because I was wearing them so much, um, so yeah, these, any boots really, but these preferably, I just love these styles, and especially these, because they're like, I don't know, they're just like a really masculine sort of style, but the soft leather really kind of makes it look a bit more feminine, so I really like that mix, and these are just like an old sort of like classic design as well, and you can't really go wrong with it, you, can, you just know you're going to have these in your wardrobe for like a long time. Okay, so yeah. That is everything, uh, my wardrobe staples, my go-to pieces, and um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and let me know if you have any other requests or anything like that, and um, what else have I got to say? Oh, some of you might not know, I've actually got a Lookbook New account now, and I will post a link down below, so you can all like go check it out, and hype me, and fan me, or whatever. Um, so yeah, um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.